How's it going, guys? Just want to share some recent footage of a dive that I did with my buddy Al. We dived uh, various months along the southwest coast in the UK. Um, hope you enjoy the footage. Really appreciate you watching it. And uh, catch you all later. So here you can see the black bream sitting underneath the shoulder of the bass. On this occasion they're just a little bit out of range for me to take the shot comfortably. But the great thing is, is it's the first time I've seen this species in the UK. Certainly got the adrenaline going and I knew it was only a matter of time before I'd see them again. So after seeing my first black bream in UK waters, that is the species that I'm going to be targeting. So I'm going to take a pass on the bass for the time being until I get the opportunity to see another black bream for it to come close enough and get the opportunity to pull on the stringer. So as you can see from this clip, the black bream is coming in from left to right. I'm in a great position, in range of the fish. Go to take the shot. Shoot slightly too high. Absolutely go down this that fish. But I'm hoping I'll get another opportunity. On this drop, I noticed the bream quite early. I'm super relaxed at this point in time. I want to wait for the right opportunity, the right moment to take the shot. He comes in head on, swimming up right close into my range. I thought I'll wait until he turns on and then take the shot. Super happy that I was able to hit the fish this time round. Now I've just got to get him on the stringer. <laughs> There's no better feeling than when you shoot a species for the first time. As you can see from my reaction, I was ecstatic. So happy with the way the day's gone so far. Now I've got the bream in the bag and turn my attention to the sea bass. I've noticed some of the larger species a little bit deeper than what I've been diving. So I'm going to do some drops between 13 to 15 metres and I hope to bag a really nice fish.
on this drop, I'm diving down to 14 meters. As I'm diving down, I can already see the bass within the kelp. So I see the bass swim off to the left of me, hoping that they're gonna swim around to the right. Take a quick look to my right. Don't see any bass there, so know that they're gonna be in the gully to the left of me. See a really nice fish around eight pounds. Take the shot, stone him. So I already know that I'm gonna be able to put this one on the stringer. Hope you like the video guys. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching it. Give us a share, like, follow and subscribe. It means a lot. Thank you.